Okay, in today's video, we are gonna be deep diving back into golf psychology. If you're a regular watcher of the channel, you know that I'm big on my golf psychology. My golf psychology series has had by far the most views, by far the most positive comments. And I've always said, it doesn't matter what your handicap is, we can all think better on the golf course. Okay, in today's quick video, I'm gonna give you my top five golf psychology tips. Okay, let's get cracking. So just before we get stuck into this video, just another reminder that you can now become a member of the Scratch at 50 channel. It's completely free of charge. There's loads of benefits. To find out more, just click the link that's gonna appear in the corner now. Number five, visualization. You must have a clear picture in your mind of the shot and the target of where you're trying to hit your golf ball. So I always say, stand behind it, pick out your target, your line, be as specific as possible and as small as possible. So I'm picking out a tree trunk down in the distance. And then I'm picturing the ball going down on that target. Then and only then, once you've got it clear, then step into the ball and start your routine. Keep that picture and that target clearly in your head and then just commit. and then you'll commit to a good golf shot. Also, visualization is very important with chipping. So again, visualize the shot, picture it in your head, see it landing on the green, visualize the way it's gonna roll out towards the hole. So this is just a nice little running chip. It's got some right to left in it. Pick your landing point, visualize that ball rolling in from the right, and then just play the shot. stone dead. Visualization in putting is also absolutely massive. So once you've read your putt and you're sure on your line, try and paint a picture, a line from your ball on its curvature going into the middle of the hole. So on this putt, I've got quite a bit of right to left, probably about a foot of break. I can picture that line going along the right hand side and then dropping in on that right hand side of the hole. Make sure I'm comfortable where I've lined it up picture that line, see the ball going in, and then just go. Number four is always be confident. Everything you do around your shot and your routine should be feeling like you're telling your playing partners and the whole of the golf course, just watch what I'm about to do. Okay, that's the kind of mindset you've got to have. So step in, you know, with purpose. You know, even if you have little things like hitching your trousers up, just little things that make people think, wow, this guy looks like he's confident. This guy looks like he's gonna get a great shot. That is the vibe that you need to give off. Because again, if you step into your shot with any kind of hesitant hesitancy, you're not gonna get a good shot. You know, but more than anything, step in with purpose, intent and then just completely confidently commit to the shot i've actually had a great shot there and my takeaway got caught as i took it away but you know what i probably ended up hitting a good shot there because even though my takeaway got stuttered there a little bit by the grass I still committed 100% to that shot and I've ended up hitting a good shot right into the heart of the green. Always be confident. Number three is emotional stability. It's so important that we stay on an even keel. Don't get too high after great shots and certainly don't get really low after bad shots. We're all gonna hit bad shots. You have to just accept that. You should be going into every single shot on an even keel of emotion, just treating that shot on the merits that are in front of you. And nothing that's happened in the past and nothing about worrying about the future should even come into this. Stay emotionally cool, stay on an even keel for the whole of your round, and it could significantly help your scoring. Number two is routine and process. Every single shot, you must stick to the process. 
and to your routine. You must have a pre-shot routine that you repeat every single shot. A good pre-shot routine breeds confidence and familiarity, especially in those nervous moments where it can help get you through still hitting good shots because when you get nervous you tend to either quicken up and try and get it over and done with as quickly as possible or sometimes freeze over the ball with nerves if you've got an absolutely cast iron built-in pre-shot routine you can fall back on that in all of those moments where all you've got to do is just stick to the process complete your routine and commit to the shot having a pre-shot routine that you do every single time is absolutely crucial to hitting the best golf shots that you and your ability can allow you to hit. Okay, so we finally arrived at number one. To be fair, they're all as important as each other, but my number one golf psychology tip is playing with a free mind and staying in the moment. You cannot go on the golf course with technical thoughts thinking, I've got to get my arm here, I've got to get this here, I've got to pull down here, I've got to get here. You will not hit good golf shots and actually whatever your natural ability for the game is you're taking it away completely with those kind of technical thoughts you have to free yourself up from all technical thoughts and all emotional thoughts the only thing that you should be concentrating on is executing your routine your process and committing to the golf shot when you're on the range yes you can go and work on your technique you can go and work on all that stuff but when you're on the golf course and i say all times on the golf course you should have no emotional thoughts stay on an even keel stay in the moment but also have no technical thoughts just visualize the shot focus on your target and just freely swing the club and commit 100 percent to the shot and if you can do that you will hit far more good shots than bad shots out on the golf course okay so there is my top five golf psychology tips i hope you found something there that's really helpful something that you can see that you can do better all five of them are as equally as important as each other, to be honest. But if you want to get really deep into more detail with golf psychology, then I really recommend going and watching my golf psychology series. I'll put the playlist up at the end screen at the end of this video, so you can just click on that and go and watch that series where you'll go into it in a lot more depth, a lot more detail. We highlight what golfers with good psychology what how they do it well but also people who are poor mentally the mistakes that they meant make as well and when you watch that you might actually look at that and go you know what that's me and i can do that better the thing i love about golf psychology is it's not dependent on golfing ability we can all think better on the golf course and i promise you that if you start to think better and more positive on the golf course whatever your golfing potential is you've got far more chance of filling it by thinking better and executing good golf psychology Okay, that's it for today's video. I really hope you've liked it. Get in the comments if you found something that's really interesting and useful. And I will see you in the next video.